Welcome to Department of Electronics and Telecommunication at Vidyalankar Institute of Technology. In this department, we have taken this new initiative to start our own YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, we are going to upload all our experiments video, value-added course video or any other important videos. This material will be available to all the students in Mumbai University and this material will help students to, uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom. I hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query, comments, anything, they can put it in the comment box. Thank you. Analog Electronics 2 Lab. In this practical, we are learning about the frequency response of a BGT as a common emitter amplifier. Now, as you know, in common emitter, the emitter is grounded. Input is given at the and output is taken out at the connector. Now, the components used for this circuit are four different resistors and three different uh, capacitors out of which one is used as a bypass capacitor. Now, 10 volt is um, uh, applied as a voltage and the output is obtained at the collector of BJT. This is uh, how the circuit is. Now, let's see its implementation. This is the implementation of the circuit that we have already discussed. Now, this is BC547. Now, if you can see, this is a flat plate of BC547. So, the rightmost lid is the emitter of this uh, transistor. Then there comes the base and this is collector. Now, accordingly, the base, like we are giving a, a capacitor and input to the base. So this is the base, it is connected to this capacitor and we are taking input from this wire. Now, secondly, uh, emitter is uh, like a resistance is connected to emitter and that is grounded. A resistance is connected to this resistance is connected and uh, it is grounded. And uh, CE is this capacitor which acts as a bypass capacitor. This capacitor CC2 is connected to uh, collector terminal which is this it is connected by this black wire and output is obtained at this terminal here and input is given at positive and negative terminals we are will give the uh, voltage here and here this is total connection uh, like implementation on the breadboard now let's give the input from the function generator and let's see the output generator we have set it at 1 kilohertz and this is CRO I have already set this at 10 volts okay and uh, let's uh, give the input first with the help of this function generator this probe is used for the function generator and this is used as a first channel now input is given as this As you can see this, it is like, uh, now I have, as I have given 1 kilohertz, this value here is 0.5, okay, and these are two blocks, so it is 1 volt, 0.5 millivolts into 1, uh, 2, that is 1 volt. Now, this is the input, now let's check the output. Now we are using the second channel flow for giving the output, for seeing the output. So I'm connecting the positive and then connecting the ground. I'm giving voltage 5 volts, sorry 10 volts. Now after connecting, this is what we have obtained as an output. As you can see, I have kept it at 0.5 and we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is one uh, five into point five, that is two point five volt. Like we have, it has amplified, and this is what this circuit does. It amplifies. Yeah. This is how the frequency response is obtained. Now, this is all about the frequency response. The circuit of BJT as a common emitter amplifier. That's all for today. Thank you.